So I'll put you all, I think I better put you all at ease. I'm not going to throw up, but I'm not going to talk in a cheesy French accent. <laughs> so uh, when Teresa, Teresa uh, phoned me, she, I really was struck by two fears that she expressed. One was her personal f fear of marine predators. She talked about, a lot about sharks and about crocodiles uh, in Mozambique. The other was her more powerful and altruistic fear of losing those things because uh, she really recognizes that all creatures deserve their place here. So this award is about the challenges we face with our oceans. Climate change, ocean acidification are so serious, there really is no question that we should take Robert Alley's advice and find a solution. And all of us, though, we really face these same competing fears. One is our personal fear that tackling climate change is going to impact our lives personally. The other is our altruistic fear that what will happen to our planet if we don't. But I don't want to have a climate of fear here. Um, while fear is a, a powerful, a very powerful wake-up call, I think optimism is really the power behind action. And so I want to thank Teresa and the Heinz Foundation for creating a space for this optimism by highlighting the importance of the oceans with not just one award, but two more to follow by my colleagues. I want to thank my, all of my colleagues who work so selfish, selflessly on this issue of particularly ocean acidification. And I, I can't name them all, but I want to name out uh, a particular visionary named Bob Buttermeyer who set me down this path, which I hated him for for a long time, and now I, I think I can finally say thank you to him. Um, I also want to thank NCAR where I work. I really want to thank the patients of my husband who put up a lot with me. My big, big family, which is here, and particularly my brother Kenneth, who so loved the ocean. Thanks uh, to all of you for loving the ocean as well. Thank you.